Welcome back. In my last video, I took apart this guitar, and then I decided to sell all the parts, except for the pickguard. So I'm going to take this beautiful anodized pickguard and put it on a new guitar. Let's get up close, nice and close. So this pickguard, it's like a plastic or vinyl, whatever they use when they have these plastic ones. And it's got eight screws, so I'm going to take those screws off. I hope you're having a nice relaxing day. And this is just to chill and relax and chill and relax and just, you know, chill, relax. Usually I fast forward these parts, but I thought, hey, let's see what it looks like when you really do it instead of fast forwarding because that's fake. Let's be real. Here's me just cleaning off all the, the skin and, uh, you know, the gross stuff. So we're up to uh, screw number three at this point. And like I said, there's eight, but on the new pick guard, the anodized pick guard that I just took off that Rosewood Telly build, there's only five. So taking off eight and then only putting on five, it's 13 total. I'm really good at the math, by the way. Just thought I'd throw that in there. So we're up to one, two, three, four, five. If this was the other pick guard, I'd be done by now. So why did I do that? Why did I take apart that other guitar? Because I'm selling all the parts because I do stuff like that and then I buy more things. So I've already got another secret guitar on the way and it's gonna pay for that. That's what I do. I just, you know, if I don't play it, I uh, get rid of it and it's gone. So watch for uh, those parts to be online somewhere. I don't know where. Okay, oh yeah, you can't take it off, idiot, unless you got all the screws. I thought there was only seven. I'm like, oh yeah, there's eight. Totally forgot, so pulling that off. Now, just careful not to scratch the body or anything. Pretty cool. Let's take a close look at what I'm using for my camera. It's a Sony AX53. And, uh, oh, too close. Okay. That's close enough. So now I'm going to grab the anodized pick guard, which, by the way, is like metal, some kind of aluminum metal, I think. And I discovered something. First time I've ever done this because I've never put one on with the strings on. Here we go. And I'm going to save you the, uh, the stress because there's another video and I'm going to put it in the cards and in the description. That sound that is happening right there, I didn't know that was going to happen. And it freaked me out when I played it back. It didn't sound as bad in person, but the recorded audio was terrible. Probably the worst sound I've ever heard. Ever. And uh, let's go. Five screws. I like anodized pick guards. This is my second one. Is it my second or third? I have one on a, a Strat. I really like it. I don't know. It's just different. They do scratch. I've got like a chip in the one on my Heritage 50 Strat and it's going to get worn down looking probably. I'm cool with that. I don't mind stuff that's worn down if it was naturally worn down. I'm also okay with Relic guitars if they look nice and they play nice. I'm just not going to spend the crazy amount of money on a custom shop. You can take that sound bite and use it in the five years when I have all custom shop guitars on this channel. It's okay. I'll remember that I said that and I'll be like, I changed my mind. It was what I meant at the time, you know. All right, we're up to number three. Two more. This is getting exciting. Like the moment of truth is coming that, well, it's just going to look, look like that but with five screws on. If you want to hear it, I'll also try to remember to put a, a link to the video. Hot 50s. Shaw Hot 50s Tele Pickups. I don't know why people don't talk about them. I don't know why they're not advertised everywhere. I don't know why all the stores don't sell them. They're hot. They're pretty good. They're, they're really nice. Uh, they're unique for sure. Hot is the description and it's definitely, they bang, banged on, nailed it. They, they, I'm not taking that part out. That's what I do, leave this stuff in. If, you, if you're just falling asleep watching this or you're on the toilet, congratulations. You made it this far. Also, congratulations, because, you know, it's hard to make it through a whole video, but you get, you deserve this. You deserve this. Here you go. Now you get to see what it looks like. Look at that. I think that's sharp. I think the uh, anodized pick guard goes nice with the brass and kind of goes good with that uh, glossy nitro finish on the neck. And uh, that's it. So play guitar and have fun. Go back to bed.